tutorial about Milonga. We were teaching a Milonga workshop recently and we saw a structure of a rhombus base step for Milonga that we were altering with different uh, combinations and later also playing with some doubles to make it more fun. We will go through the sequences or the alterations of this basic sequence and then see how we play with the dots. The basic sequence was for the leaders back, side, outside, and check. For the followers, forward, side, backward, change. On the other side, I always think. These are four steps, of course, but to link two. So I have the first one linked with the second, and the third one linked with the fourth. And so on. The first alterations that we had was that we can add a side step once we're finished here. So we go to the side instead of going directly back. Side and we go back. We could also add two side steps and then go back from the other side. So we have for the leaders left side, and now we have one or even two side steps, and we do the same again. We have the other option to uh, add more forward-backward combinations. So in the moment when I go back, I immediately close and I go forward. Later, all of these options can be done in another time. And when I have enough, I go back to the basic form. And maybe again with the side steps. The last alteration was that from the position of the side step, where we already put weight, I go back to a change of weight. At the moment we are all dancing in single time. All mixed uh, together, it could look like this. Okay. All type of combinations. And maybe also some to the side and then again. More to the side. And okay. You saw easy structure. To have more fun, we can accelerate in some of these moments. So we could, for example, have one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. Parinka, 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 parinka. That was the first uh, double combination we had. We also said during the workshop. If you add one double, you also have to add a second double, otherwise you will uh, get uh, impaired and it will not feel good. So you can choose any moment for a double, some doubles are more difficult than others, you will find out, but always add two. One more time from this perspective, so I have... Sometimes we call rainbow steps. Why? Because we use them usually to turn a little bit, and that gives a little rainbow. And uh, we also said in the basic sequence we want to start a little bit diagonal. And with this side step, we can create it more. 
We also want to remind you, Nilonga shows it up from the feeling of how we move, or how we embrace. We could do the same things to the side and close in Tango. But in Nilonga, it will have a more playful energy for this. So, be comfortable in the embrace that you are used to dance, be it open, be it close, but add this uh, easiness to the movement. Second was one, two, and three, four, one, and close, here, close. One, two, and three, one, da, di, do, da, di. Um, you saw I did it one time uh, in the second side step. One, two, three, and four. And the other time I did it one, two, and three, four. We still reach the back step on the same spot. It's interesting to play with that. It's more advanced, I would say, to close with the double. To keep it more simple, we take the side step for the double. One, two, three, and four. One, and two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, and two, three, four. One time, a little more uh, fun, a little bit more sensing. One, two, and three. One, four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, and two, three, four. Uh, yes, that was it already. Um, I hope we gave you some inspiration and uh, new impulses to practice with. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and we will reply to you. Ciao.